Welcome to Tech Brazil with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn what is the schedule trigger in Azure Data Factory. And often uh, people ask you this question because they want to know how you uh, schedule your pipelines uh, on different time to run. Uh. So now let's go back here in Azure Data Factory and take a look here. So first of all, uh, the main uh, component or part or object uh, you are going to create in Azure Data Factory is a pipeline. Uh, because the pipeline is uh, an object uh, that will hold your activities. Uh, and activities are the components or objects which will perform different actions such as reading data from source and writing to the destination. So your pipeline can have multiple activities such as, as I'm showing you right now, it can have a copy activity, it can have data flow activity, maybe it has a delete activity as well. So maybe you are deleting some files in the blob storage and all that. So your pipeline is going to uh, going to consist of uh, multiple activities most of the time. Uh, at least uh, it, will, it will have a, a one activity anyways. Uh, now once your pipeline is created uh, that uh, maybe you want to see like oh uh, my files are dropped in blob storage every morning at 6 a.m. and I should run my pipeline at 6 30 a.m. Now you're not going to go and manually run your pipeline every time uh, you're, because uh, you're going to have tons of uh, um, pipelines there uh, that you would like to run on some specific schedule. Uh. So that's where uh, our schedule comes in. Um. So now you go to the add trigger and then uh, you will say new or edit uh, and that's where you will uh, have a schedule um, a trigger sorry. So this trigger you are creating here and that uh, right here you have a uh, different type of triggers. Uh. One of them called is a schedule trigger. That means you want to run your pipeline on some specific time. Uh. So uh, first of all, it gives you opportunity, let's say if I am uh, building this app, uh, pipeline and I don't want to run it now, I want to start from uh, Sunday. So that's possible. I can go simply right here and say start from um, uh, 10th, right? So that's possible. We will do that. And then uh, what you have here, you all have also the time here. You can, let's say, do you want to do 5 a.m. and all that. Uh, so you can change the time according to your requirement. Uh, now that's it, uh, this will create a schedule trigger. Now time can be also in different zones. So here is UTC time. Now let's say you are in EST, so you can uh, EST, so East, uh, so you let's say you wanna go different, uh, maybe Arizona time or you know, East, let's say EST, okay? East time, so right here, Eastern time. So you can have right here US and Canada. So you can simply type here and then select the time zone you like to run this activity. Now also you have reoccurrence. So maybe you want to run this pipeline every five hours or three hours or 15 minutes and all that. So see you have this opportunity here. So every and then you have minutes, hours, days, weeks and months. So you can define all different type of frequency right here. And uh, that's it. If you want to end this uh, uh, execution, let's say you want to just run for a month of April and uh, you don't want to keep running this uh, pipeline in month of May and the rest of the month, so you can always uh, specify an end date. So this is how you will create a schedule trigger that will run your pipeline uh, on different uh, schedules uh, depending upon what you have made the selections here. So I will suggest when somebody asks you, hey, what is schedule trigger, explain them. We have the pipeline, we create the pipeline, and those pipelines need to run on some specific time to load the data. And that's where we use a schedule trigger. And we can have a start date, we can have end date, and then we have can have a frequency here, and we can provide how often this interval need to be used, uh, does it has to be on uh, every hour or day or week or month. Uh, and uh, then uh, we simply attach that uh, schedule trigger to our pipeline and keep running on a specific defined trigger. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.